Welcome back to the Vans U.S. Open of Surfing. You can see how prestigious this event is for the whole top 17, but especially the locals here, they get to surf it each and every day. Courtney Conlock growing up out here on the south side of the pier. One here as an amateur, now coming in with a different feeling with the most informed surfer in the world wearing the Jeep yellow jersey. We saw Courtney move on through this round over Mia Collins a couple of heats ago. Now we're into the last heat of the second round. South Africa's Bianca Betendag taking on Australia's Laura Enever. We see a quick score on the board for Bianca Betendag, showing that she got a 4.83 during the break. We'll bring that to you in just a moment. Laura already with priority, now waiting for her. South Africa versus Australia. If you kind of had to pick a signature move for both of these surfers, Pete, what would you go with starting with Bianca Betendag? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Let's take a look at first this replay here from uh, Bianca Betendag. Gets two nice turns on the outside, earns a 4.83, puts some early pressure on Laura Enover, but uh, a single move. Hmm, you're challenging me here, aren't you, Joe? I, I like this. You have you a lot of maneuvers well, to choose from on a wave at Huntington. And if you're just thinking about how Laura surfs this wave, how Bianca surfs this wave, we surfers going for different maneuvers, and Laura Enover will roll into this wave to start off this matchup. Backside slash off the top. Great timing on the oncoming section. Made a little bit of room, but it ends up running out a space for the third maneuver. Two-turn combination to get on the board. Now 24 minutes remaining on the clock. Trying to answer back to Baton Dog with more waves on the way. One of uh, you know the strengths of Laura Enover is her backhand. Growing up in Narrabeen on those beach breaks, a lot of lefts there. And she's super strong, connects with that lip on that second maneuver. Would have loved to see her finish there, but she couldn't get enough speed around the corner to finish that wave up. But two-turn combo should be a pretty good score for her. Now bait and dog, quick jam through the white water, more momentum for the oncoming section and slams it. So working hard for that two-turn combination, backing up the 483. As we hit the 24-minute mark, Bianca just saw her best friend on tour get knocked out in the previous heat. Bianca wearing the red jersey, the high-seated surfer here is focused on the prize here, Pete. Yeah, and she uh, projects down the line, you know, that time even pushing the fins up and over, you know, not just that typical floater, you know, adding a little zest to it to get down the line and then completes that wave. So another good score for Bianca Baton. I feel like it's going to be a little bit better than her 4.83, but, you know, a mid-tide here for, for Huntington seems to be uh, the best. Laura now setting up a big wall. Winds up for a solid backside snap. She wants one more real quick, and she'll run out of time. Enver already has a 6.33, so a 4.0 will give her the lead. Bianca's last a 5.5. So a great contrast in styles and approach. Seems like Laura knows how to pick off the bigger sets, and even one maneuver sometimes can make a big difference. Here. Yeah, for sure, and she knew that. You know, and look at nice, strong maneuver, big backside hook on the top of that lip very committed again trying to look for that final move next to the pier but decides to kick out but one strong move she's going to get the score she'll get she'll get the four bianca now drives off the bottom and hits the rooftop section that's going to put her behind laura enver now has a lead six three three six one seven so baden dog needs a 7.0 didn't quite get that projection down the line to get to that next section. You can see this one had a nice stretched out line on it. But the way it starts to uh, shut down, doesn't get the projecting. You see there's a little bit of shoulder there. If she'd been able to get that maneuver out more towards the pier, she may have gotten the opportunity around the corner, but doesn't happen, so it's going to be a throwaway score for Bianca. I believe that it is a great cross training. You look at guys like John John, who are amazing skaters, Kalani David. Uh, those are guys you can look at. Having a look on the back end, Laura Enover threw her second maneuver off the roof. Got a first one. You bring up Sierra Carlson, Sabre Norris doing a lot of crazy training on the skate ramp and surfing as well. Back to the back end rhythm and Laura Enover, she's heating up Pete. She is and uh, it's, uh, you know, correlating to her scores. You know, 7.4, extending her lead over Bianca. You know, and uh, another upset in the making at this point. You know, still lots of time. So watching this, we've got a little opportunity setting up for Baton Dog, rolling in now. 
And just a little misread, she'll end up incomplete and staying in second. All momentum stays with Laura Enover with 13 minutes, 45 seconds to go. The former World Junior Champion paddles in. Sets up her first turn. It's a front side hook. Checks out a quick right. Good for one maneuver, and she's out. As we see now, Laura Enover picking up this left-hander. Clean snap off the lip, and she'll end up losing control in the inside corner. It's always interesting to see the role now change, Pete, for Laura Enover. She has a solid lead now without priority. It's still 12 minutes to figure out her responsibility in this lineup. What would you recommend? And also signing up with some local knowledge from Huntington Beach's own Christian Signs. Watching this now, 7.30, late hit for Enover. She's down. Bianca and Laura stayed real busy during that little recap. Great to see that. So Laura Enover backing herself up wisely on the qualifying series as we check out the heat recap. Laura Enover, former Australian Open of Surfing champion, showing her beach break skills off here at the Huntington Pier. Picked off these running lefts, 6.33, built to a 7.4, and Bianca's been chasing her ever since. Yeah, and she's uh, utilizing that forehand. Not a whole lot of rights. I mean, they're out there, but the size of these lefts has been the difference. You know, going into the pier, giving, uh, you know, overhead, giving those two-turn combos. That's kind of what we've been seeing. Uh, the best of it going to Laura Enver having that solid 7.4, and that's really been the difference. Just make those extra couple spots. It hasn't quite happened for him, but he would love to be able to pick up some momentum here and not have to have to worry about qualifying in Hawaii. Now having a look, Bianca Batendog just takes a look at her right. Little low road flow, but that was the only thing on offer. She's still going to be chasing an 8.23. It hasn't quite happened for him, but he would love to be able to pick up some momentum here and not have to have to worry about qualifying in Hawaii. Now having a look, Bianca Batendog just takes a look at her right. Little low road flow, but that was the only thing on offer. She's still going to be chasing an 8.23. Looks like forced to be eliminated here by Laura Enover. Solid beach break tactics, picking off those lefts early, being on the best waves. 6-3-3, 7-4, sometimes getting up into those numbers with one single major maneuver peak. Nice work there from Laura Enover. And this is a big win for her. This is an opportunity for her to overtake uh, Bianca on the rankings. 